my dear students and friends welcome to design thinking web series 6 in the last web session we discussed about design thinking champions from industry and institution perspective and their respect to frameworks and we also discussed one single case study covering all phases of one design thinking framework in this web session we are going to discuss about one single framework for that matter we are going to take up ideo design thinking framework and we are going to deep down into only one single phase the first phase which is called as a inspirational phase and we are going to discuss about what are the procedures available in this phase what are the tools available in this phase how we need to execute this particular phase and in the end we are going to discuss about one single case study and you can also participate into the activity just to recap uh, what exactly is the design thinking as you can see in the slide design thinking is all about holistic and human centered approach design thinking is all about creating multiple options in the conventional business practice we'll make lot of choices and finally we converge them and create a solution out of it however in the case of design thinking it is going to be slightly different first you need to diverge in terms of creating a multiple options and finally you would actually make them converge and finally you create a solution out of it so it is more of a diverge first and converge later whereas in the case of conventional business practice it is only one single go which is converge just you make you to appreciate this diverge first and converge later let me share a story so that you understand this abstractness and you can see yourself what exactly this divergence and then later convergence once there was a king he used to patronize the poetry and art he used to have a six poets in his court all the time this king used to encourage these six poets even for a simple poetry he used to reward them very high king's bodyguard used to observe this whole thing king's bodyguard is a great poet but he never used to get a chance because king never used to encourage other than these six poets bodyguard somehow wants to create an opportunity for himself one day he sends an anonymous letter to the king in this letter it is written like this my dear king there are better poets outside your court they want to serve you they want you to relish good poetry and great poetry this letter triggers the king to explore poets outside the court in fact he makes an announcement to participate poetry competition in his court by his surprise nobody turns up king got annoyed next day king receives another anonymous letter in that letter it is written like this my dear king you are a great poet lover however you created a huge vacuum in your kingdom you have not done a good succession planning for your six poets in your court whenever your son takes over the reins of your kingdom there won't be any poets left in your kingdom king took this letter very seriously positively and ordered his minister to establish a poetry university and appointed all those six poets as a faculty even he ordered all the six poets to make at least 18 good poets in the span of 6 years time waiting for this moment waiting for this excellent opportunity bodyguard joined his son in this university boy also reciprocated well and he started learning studiously and acquired these poetry skills in a short span of time one day king ordered for a test and called all the students and said you have to bring your own poetry and present before me bodyguard son made an excellent poetry and reads that poetry before the king king got aster he got highly impressed he got amazed with the poetry king told it is not possible to learn such a great skill in this short span of time you must be learning from someone that must be from many years please let me know who is, who has trained you i want to gift that person 
10 acres of the land and 100 gold coins because you are going to be the seed in my succession planning for the poetry. Boy humbly replied, it is my father. Through my father I have been acquiring these skills. King shocked. King ordered the boy, present him immediately. The very next moment, bodyguard appears in front of the king and made a humble obeisances to the king. King got dumpster. He got really surprised. He started listening his poetry and he used to appreciate a lot. Over a period of time, king made him as a seventh poet of that court. My dear students, when there are no opportunities, creating an opportunity, seizing a moment is called design thinking. It is called design thinker's mindset. Hope you now understand what exactly is the diverge first and converge later. Even the ground is not fertile, creating that conduciveness, creating that environment, creating that ecosystem is what is the diverge first and create multiple options and later converge them is all about design thinking. My dear friends, design thinking is all about do and think and think and do. Design thinking is all about iterate, iterate, iterate and again iterate. That's all is the design thinking. Design thinking advocates don't think outside the box. Think like there is no box. Again, I'm repeating this quote. Don't think outside the box. Think like there is no box. So there should not be any barrier in your thinking. Think very innocently. Think very aptly. Think very differently. Think with all your consciousness. Coming to this uh, idea of design thinking framework, as we discussed in the last session, it has uh, four quadrants, it has uh, four steps. The first one is inspirational step and the second one is inside step. The third one is ideation step and the fourth one is implementation. When you are moving into the inspirational stage, you would actually learn more. You would actually observe more, right? As you move into the inside stage, it become, the ground becomes completely abstract. As you move to the ideation stage, it actually comes to a closer for a doing something. Finally, in the implementation stage, the whole abstractness, the whole action becomes completely real. This is all about the idea of design thinking framework. So while we are talking about these four phases, how does the whole curve move? How does these activities actually kind of create a curve? As you can see in the slide, you would start with a user research, that is a step one, and you start observing more, you start interacting more. As you see the interaction, as you observe the things, you would actually see a concreteness. You would actually observe some concreteness. However, as you move in, into the inside phase, when you, are start, when you start dissecting or when you start synthesizing that information, then you slowly get into an abstract phase. That is where the curve is coming down below the uh, X bar. And during this abstract phase, you start understanding more, you start designing. This is all is about synthesis, right? So slowly you would actually move to a phase called ideate. That is when I think you would start actioning, you start prototyping. Slowly you move to some kind of testing and kind of a final prototyping or final solution that is when the solution would be out. That is the final step of implementation. So in the beginning, in, while you are in the research, while you are inspiring, you need to create a lot of hope for yourself, to the team members and to the ground as well. Right? As you create more and more hope, you get the best information possible. However, as you go into the deep down, then you would start extracting the insights Slowly when you start doing some action, start creating some solutions, prototypes, that is when I think confidence will build up, right? So hope, insight and confidence would actually move into the whole cycle. That is how that whole design thinking, the abstractness of the design thinking works in that fashion. Now let's come to the specific phase uh, of inspiration, which we thought we'll discuss more in, in this particular web session. So during the inspirational stage, you would actually conduct more of a research that is called user research, that is called customer research, right? 
the whole belief in this particular phase is better we empathize with the people the easier we create a value from them and the success for the organizations this is the whole premise of this particular phase so there should be a complete balance between empathy and dollar love and dollar so this is what i think you need to really employ while you are acting on this particular phase so the question comes up i think we also discussed in the last session how do you do that you listen you listen you listen you read more stories the stories of the people process and product and also it is very important that your observation should be keen close and absolute right that is when you actually get a concrete observations how do we engage during this inspirational phase though it is easy to talk about the phase in an abstract sense but in the ground how do we really execute this how do we really engage that empathy how do we really get that inspirational ball rolling this would be definitely a daunting task for the researchers there are four ways where you can engage yourself or your team members can be engaged during this user research talk to the people who are actually facing the problem look at the slide hearing from the person who is actually facing the medical problem you would actually get a design opportunities because you are hearing straight from the heart's mouth you need to really self experience the situation you need to really self participate in the contest at this point of time i am going to share a one real time example who has done this step very meticulously his name is dr harish hande managing director selco he is also raman mcsessi awardee who has created a huge solar impact in the karnataka region he is an alumnus of iit kharagpur and doctorate from mit he has spent 2 years in the darkness with the people who are suffering in the india and sri lanka he really understood the real core problem of the people and started creating the solutions this could be a one real time example and great example for an empathy phase or inspirational phase today selco has created a almost 450000 solar solutions in that particular region and it is considered as a one of the wow impact one of the wow social impact another way of engaging in this inspirational phase or the design research is start interviewing the others scientists and grassroots innovators inventors entrepreneurs and start talking to them interview them observe them so speaking to a per person who has actually built an electric vehicle would actually give you a lot of information than hearing from someone else so this is the another technique or another tool during this particular phase so another way of engaging is record sometimes recording would also give us the valuable information for the future processing and you get immerse yourself you start listening more so that is also one way of engaging during this particular phase in summary as part of this inspirational phase how do we operate i just sum up what are the tools and uh, techniques available in this particular phase recognize the existing knowledge is a very critical step as part of this particular phase you need to identify people whom you are going to interview or discuss or record because the identification would actually give you a lot of insights the best identification is half job done and you need to form a like minded team it is very very critical step as part of this particular phase and you need to choose various research methods whichever is applicable in the contest whichever the feasible to implement you need to select that that is completely it could be an observation or it could be analogous inspiration or individual interview or a group interview or in contest immersion recording or self documentation or expert interviews so these are the multiple methods available research methods available as part of this particular phase employ them judiciously take a call and judiciously implement these particular techniques during this particular phase all the time ensure that you introduce aptly 
introduce the project so that people would give you best information possible. Don't ask leading questions which would sometimes break your thought process or break your goal and break your objective. Ask to show but not to tell and ensure that you always ask yourself why, 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 again why. This is the whole essence of this particular phase. Now let us, uh, now let us participate in an activity. What I am going to do now is I am going to share a case study, a full-fledged case study which covers all those four phases. I am going to set the contest as well as the solution. What you need to do is what could have happened in between, what could have been the observations as part of this whole process, what could have been the insights as part of this whole process, what could have been the prototypes as part of this process, what could have been the final solution as part of this whole process. You need to make some kind of self-assessment or you need to make some kind of self-judgment and you can fill that in the end. This is what is the whole activity is all about. The contest is like this. Accessing a clean water is a big challenge in rural India. I'm sure I think you would all agree with me. Young women are missing out a school or a college to fetch the water. There is a specific village 150 kilometers from Mumbai, an odious three kilometers long trek several times a day to fetch a water. This is a contest. The another part of the contest is poor posture, muscular tightness and disc injuries keeping the pressure on the sciatic nerve which causes the pain while walking. This is the other part of the contest. You could observe from the photograph what could have been situation at that particular place. There is a US based social venture named Vello. The founder is Cynthia Coney. He has done an excellent design thinking research in this part of the world and he created a wonderful prototype. We should really appreciate this company's design thinking thought process and the way of uh, handle this whole research differently. Now let us see the final outcomes of this particular design thinking process. Initially they created a 50 liter container to roll liquid from wells rather carrying it on, it on their heads. High quality plastic is employed so that it can withstand the rough terrain and the price range between $25 to $30. The designers played around with the different sizes as part of iteration, 10 to 20 liters and finally they have nailed down the 50 liters because the minimum consumption of a minimum household is that much. One of the most exciting things is that men started using it, they started loving to use it and finally they thought it is a tool rather than some kind of activity. Men took the primary role to bring the water to the home so that women are freed from that uh, drudgery and they started employing on uh, other activities. It has also reduced the burden on the women and uh, it has also created an opportunity for the girls to study to be part of education system. It has created a huge social impact not just on the water side but also on the education side. My dear friends, hope you understand the contest and the iteration part of it and finally the solution part of it. What you have to do now as part of this activity is you start getting into the shoes of those designers, think that you are part of the team member and start filling the four phases and start filling each of these four phases. Already I made a small attempt to fill that inspire part, long walks for the water, women and girls education, the spinal cord issues and water mismanagement and so on. Make more observations as part of the inspiration and make sure that you state a few important insights and also list possible solutions and also list possible ideas as part of the ideation and finally as part of implementation Apart from this 50 liter water wheel, what are the other options available in this particular contest? So this is a small activity for you. This is a small food for thought for you before I come back till my next web session. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for patience listening. I'll be back soon.